Health officials sounding the alarm after allegations that a group of parents in Utah secretly agreed to avoid testing their children for COVID-19 to keep schools open. TJ Holmes joins us now with more on this so-called mom code. Good morning, TJ. Yeah, we're like, it's hard to even fathom, really. A parent saying, I don't want to get my child tested because I don't want to confirm whether or not my child has COVID. Not just that, encouraging other parents to do the same. This is happening allegedly in Utah, a state seeing record numbers of COVID cases. Turns out parents have their reasons for this, and the health department says those reasons aren't reason enough to put the other community at risk. It's part of the so-called mom code, and the Utah Department of Health is warning about the group of parents reportedly pledging not to test their kids for coronavirus in order to make infection numbers artificially appear lower. This is all in an attempt to keep schools and school sports open and avoid quarantine. If there is a quarantine with a sports team or with any of the other classrooms, they're encouraging each other not to have their children tested. As a parent, Geneva Prothero fears community spread if the mom code is encouraged. This pandemic is not a normal thing. This is a time where we need to really focus on, you know, tracing this virus so we can be able to stop the spread. She's seen Facebook messages like these. Stay home. Don't get tested. And if your child shows COVID symptoms, please keep them home, but do not test. State health officials say it's unknown how many parents are actually taking part, but warn those who do could be contributing to the spread of COVID-19, writing in a statement. Testing is a critical element of our response. Identifying cases is a key strategy to limiting the spread of disease in our communities. It will be very hard to be able to distinguish between just regular, everyday, winter-type illnesses and COVID. They also have to potentially take their child out into a community that could then expose that child. Emily Daly is a mother of four students near Salt Lake City. She's running for the school board. She says while she isn't participating in the mom code, she can understand why some would. It's not mandated to get tested. That's the thing. And so we need to remember that it is a choice and you need to make decisions based off of what you feel. But tracking the virus in Utah is of fundamental importance, especially right now, with record-setting daily case numbers, over 1,600 cases reported on Saturday alone. Uh, some of the parents allegedly involved and also the school district in particular here did not give us a, a, a response here. But guys, it's a little complex, right? You, you, a parent has to consider if my child is out of school, can, can I stay home for 14 days out of work? Can I afford child care? That's complex. That's not a reason necessarily or an excuse. But still, these are things that parents are grappling with. Health Department says absolutely tracing is necessary. We need to know who has the virus. you got to, got to get tested. Knowledge is power, yes. right? Yeah. All right, TJ, thank you. Got it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.